hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm the amazon deb and in today's video i'll be showing you how i continue my wash the process if you've seen my last video you would know where i left it off was where i did my hot oil treatment and yeah this is where we are right now hot oil air treatment done and we are ready to proceed to the wash day routine let's get it started if this is your first time of coming across my channel please do well by clicking the subscribe button and join us here i do share tips of how i maintain my relaxed air yes i am relaxed even though it's not looking like that right now but i am a relaxed air you know individual but <laughs> anyways if you're not subscribed to my channel please do well and also remember to like and share this video and let's dive right into this To begin our wash we start with shampoo you know and if you know me well this is my tresme shampoo i always talk about and rave about this product if you haven't seen any of my review like of my products that i do get <laughs> if you watched it you would have definitely seen this product and yes i go in by just going and then just drenching my hair in water yes you want to actually drench your hair in water before you apply the shampoo into your hair just so that the shampoo lather as well after i've drained my hair with water and i'm good i then go in and proceed with my first lather of the shampoo the tresme shampoo and yes this is me just lathering the products into my hair and going in by we we could be scrub but yeah just making sure the product gets everywhere around my hair adding as much as possible you just want to make sure that you're using your hands to work the product all in into your hair and yeah you know it's fun we like it <laughs> after that going by also washing this shampoo off my hair yes i go in by washing it off ensure that none of the product is left in you want to make sure that you're opening the hair as much as possible i go in also again with the second time of my shampoo yes You can see the difference this actually ladders more and it's just showing sign that yes my hair is getting you know the dead on the hair is getting all out and yeah you just want to make sure that you shampoo as much as possible and then i go under the shower to wash it all off again <laughs> After the second wash, I just go in to check if I love the, if it's neat enough, if it's what I want. And if it's not, I go in and go in for the third shampoo wash. Yes, I wasn't pleased at this moment and I just wanted to wash it one more. You know, some people actually do just two, you know, shampoo washing, but... Uh, you know I, I i want it very clean so i go in again the third time and just wash my hair if we go to the salon they might just do one or two but if you are you know doing this in your house why not just give yourself that treatment and shampoo as much as possible except if you are trying to minimize your products but we don't do that yet you know we just give our, our hair that you know best treatment <laughs> and yeah this is the last time which i used the shampoo and you can see it did leather very well and yeah i just go ahead and wash this all off again <music> And since it's the last time of shampoo, you want to make sure you're washing every bit of the shampoo product of the hair. Uh, you want to make sure you're washing everything. And am I the only one that likes when water just runs through my hair? <laughs> am I the only one that feels so good when like water, the shower just runs through your hair? It's such a very amazing feeling. Like I love it. Anyways, I go in and take my t-shirt to dry my hair just a little bit for the next process. And the next process is the deep conditioner. 
process is it the deep conditioner or deep conditioning i don't know how it sits but yes i'm deep conditioning my hair and i'm here yeah, i'm using the mega growth perfective living conditioner i'm sorry the camera isn't picking it up so well but yeah if you've watched any of my review you definitely have seen this products you know i did a review this year about product i bought and yes this is me just going to start using my deep conditioner for mega grow perfective and what i did is i sectioned my hair into two actually you can section your hair as you like but this day where i was in the shower i just felt like i'm just going to do into two basic parts and yeah we go on i'm so sorry for the lighting changing in and out so sorry for that but it gets better after I divide my section into two, I then go by dividing each one section into two, so like a quarter and just working with it because, you know, I was able to manage that. If you could manage, you know, working with a whole bunch of your hair, why not? If you need to divide it into smaller pieces, you can do that. And yeah, I just divide my pieces and I work the leave deep in conditioner into my hair gradually just as you apply your relaxer it's just the same routine you want to make sure that every stand from the roots to the tip everywhere gets the deep conditioner massage it in and you'll be fine And then after you deep conditioning, the next process is you want to sit under a steamer for an hour or two. And if you don't have a steamer, just leave in the product for as for as long as two hours, three hours. This process just needs the heat. I go in and you know put in just nylon bag to cover the hair, and before I go in to sit under my dryer. But if you don't have a steamer or dryer, you know, you can wrap your hair and just have it going on for one to two hours or three or the whole day or overnight. And here I am after I've, you know, steamed my hair for an hour. And this is what we are having on my face all drenched with the products. You know, you know that it really penetrated. And here I am, I just turn on my shower and I raise the product out of my hair making sure that you raise as much as possible and for this particular brand it says oh you could leave a tiny bit but i'm not about to do that because i'm still going to actually use conditioner so i make sure that i actually raise off all the product from my hair then i go in by using my tresemme shampoo sorry my tresemme conditioner if you are used to this channel you definitely have seen me talk and rave about this product i use my tresemme conditioner and yes i just apply it a little not really a little bit i apply it all around my hair also i like it to sit a little bit on my hair just for two to three to five minutes and then i raise out the products but yes put it on your hair use your comb to you know detangle your hair and you're good to go and i just raise out the conditioner also from my hair and yeah since this is the last product right now on the hair you want to make sure you wash everything out so that you know no residue from any of the products is left on your hair and so i just go in to make sure that yes i'm not feeling any slimy or any form of products while touching my hair and i just watch it guys i dance like i dance and i pose you know pose <laughs> feel yourself baby girl I 
after I wrap my hair and yes I'm off to the blowing section and we're just going to try to dry my hair out by blowing it out and before we get started I take in my heat protectant to you know just to protect my hair because we're on that wave this length I told you guys this year we're gonna protect our hair before we blow dry then I go in and use my blow dryer to just blow my hair to dry it off as much as possible and then we continue to the next stage I go in in session just to blow out the air a little bit because yes my hair was already you know ready to be relaxed also I tried to check if I needed to trim off but I wasn't feeling like trimming off my ends so I let it be I go in by using my leave-in conditioner for mega growth perfective and just you know rub it in feed your hair with a lot of nutrients as it should be as it's needed and yeah i just blow dry it a little bit also i go in by adding my oil to it at this point because i need to seal in that living that I just puts in no nutrients is escaping anywhere so yes just use your oil to seal in your products so that apart from the fact that you're selling your products your hair also stays moisturized and stays healthy you want to always do that and here we have it i've done every part of the hair i've put in my leave-in it's all dried out i've put in my oil to seal in the moisture and yes here i have it this is how it's looking i'm just showing you i'm feeling myself at this moment and i will show you how the back looks i was already feeling myself at this moment guys like look at the back ld what ld relaxed air it's achievable it's doable yes girl show them show them baby girl show them <laughs> Oh yes, but guys, I always just have to then put it in some bun. I really don't like hair hanging around my body so much. So I just wanted to just style it and put it in a bun so I can go about my day and not have it disturb me. I don't know if that's a thing with people that have long hair. We actually just pack our hair and we cannot be bothered by hair disturbing us or touching our body. <laughs> Um, if you have long hair and you also think yes you can't be bothered with your hair touching you let me know in the comment section so i know i'm not the only one on this like let me know like i actually actually have friends that have long hair and i think this is a thing with long hair you just can't be bothered with your hair touching you <laughs> that's how i am anyways yes this is me just oiling my edges once more to make sure yes we are good to go <laughs> the amazon deb that's it feel it tie that hair inside it cannot disturb you my dear <laughs> beauty that's it guys that's the end of today's video thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video make sure you subscribe like and share this video do have a blessed day bye